on the line. When it comes to resilience, Dr. Carol Orsborn wrote the book on it. Dr. Yeah. Carol, you are a resiliency expert and author of The Art of Resilience. Welcome to our show. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. We're so happy to have you. So you talk a lot about the resilience of spirit. Yeah. What does that mean? What is resilience of spirit? Well, I'll start by saying what it's not. Um, a lot of people think that being resilient um, is like a rubber band, that when things happen to you, you just snap back to your original shape. And the fact is, is that the things that happen to us change us and that we have to allow ourselves to be transformed by the things that happen to us. So it's okay to be affected yes. by things that happen, yes. but you do have, you have to find your way back. You have a, it's new, a new normal. normal. It's not always about going back to where you were before. It's the new normal. So what's the disconnect here? Because some people, bad things happen and they're okay. They get over it. Other people, they spiral down yeah. into depression sometimes. I mean, what's the difference there? Well, believe it or not, it's very counterintuitive because people who think that the way to get through something that happens to them by always pushing, driving, using logic, will, and strength, um, those people are the ones that are actually the most likely to break. It makes them inflexible, and it makes huh. them, uh, you, you know, sometimes those skills do work. So, you know, try it first on a situation. But uh, truly resilient people, when we study them, um, are flexible. They embrace change. Mm -hmm. Uh, they take the time to mourn the losses, and they find and give themselves space for creativity, intuition, and flexibility to manifest. Yep. And it doesn't ha always have to be this, you know, doom and gloom, this huge thing happened to me. It can yes. be little things, too, maybe a setback mm -hmm. at work or something like that. And your book is an inspiring guide to help anybody learn how to rebound gracefully after a disappointment. Tell us a little bit about that and maybe your top tip or two for people who need it. All right. Well, sure. I mean, first of all, got to tell the truth about the situation so you know a lot, of, a lot of times people will think to themselves well I don't want to sugarcoat it but on the other <laughs> hand we don't want to catastrophize either you know it's like often the truth is somewhere in the middle and if we're dealing with our worst fears or or in denial those two don't help so uh. um, you know getting being truthful with yourself about what are you really dealing with and how big is it really is it is it really a catastrophe if so you're going to have to call in the troops but you know some people if their kid comes home with a b instead of an a on a report card you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that's the worst problem you've had i it think you're not so okay. bad right thank you for yeah. your advice we really appreciate you taking the time out to join us if you guys want more information or you want to check out the book the art of resilience head to fiercewithage.com thank you so much dr Orsborn. you're welcome take care